playing the Undying. So off lane, Undying, yeah. Yeah, mid lane, Tiny, Skyrat, and Omni Knight. They want to dive this most likely, yeah. Yeah, they'll throw down the Tombstone. They're going to try and make a move onto the Medusa. That forces a TP out from the Alchemist. They'll throw an unstable concoction. It stuns them both up. They'll try to get the Tombstone out. The damage on a Shiro and not handle the aggression coming in from Shenzhen. And with no ZZQ there to start, they were able to put the aggression onto Shiro and make him feel uncomfortable up to the point where he ends up dying. And Same time, though, Phoenix, he dies over mid. That's got, Echo doing it solo. You got the solo kill plus he forced. We're looking at another decay, another concussive shot, but they're going to TP in the Bat Rider, so need to be careful now as they've got the stun on a Dolme. He's got the decay on a two, but the Firefly, they're right on top of him, and they're going to burn him out, so Dolme ends up going down. It's a good rotation there from Echo. I, I almost want to say maybe he's going to respond uh, as, as this Tiny, and they're going to go bottom again. Like, Echo's showing up once more on Stable Concoction, and and Dome forced to use that ult. He'll be thrown back. They've got the lasso. He's not looking like he's going to survive this afterwards. Perhaps but, he will. Uh, you know, with the help of Hara coming in, Dome, he walks it off. Stunning himself is this alchemist. And the damage from Dome instead is dished out onto the alk. And they get themselves a kill on his easy Q. Yep, Didn't because... look like the Undying was going to survive initially. Everything changed. Everything changed. Instead of them dying, we're already backing out. Omni Knight is just such a beast. He is doing good. Avalanche toss. Easy kill on his easy Q. Phoenix getting a kill. He hasn't shown off a blink dagger yet. So, like, he's going to get this blink dagger. They might even just smoke off that. And if they don't show, they can get another kill. And, and Phoenix. Hidden, especially in a situation such as this one. Like, you're a tiny. Chrono one. just used. Mystic Flare comes down. Kill on a zeal. Oh! oh. Sharp shooter almost have that blink. They know the Medusa's up there. They've got Faces Void showing bottom. They're going to TP. They've got the lasso onto the Undying down bottom. And he'll throw down the Tombstone. But that's why Zeal dies up in the top lane. That's with that blink dagger. So they were able to get the kill on the Pangolier, which means the there's no lane. rolling thunder down bottom lane to do anything. And Dome's just going to stand his ground over by the tower. And I, I think he's home. Yeah, they, they took the wise choice and just retreat off this. While we were watching the top bottom lane look like way more that. fun. Dome. Man, Omni Knight is just changing the game completely. Like, Hara is literally breaking E Home and everything they want to be doing. Like, so far, they've. They just haven't been able to accomplish much. That Rider isn't a hero. Like, everything completely. Ooh, avalanche toss. Massive shot, silence is there with Ancient Seal, Mystic Flare dropped, and Planet dies. IP going to get credit for that kill, and now they've got Faceless Void ready with the Chronosphere once again, so you need to be careful going after Kaiko. He just drops down the Chrono defensively, though, and leaves. Ooh, they smoke themselves, but immediately broken, and Blink Avalanche going for the Unstable Concoction. And charging it up, but never going to go off. Phoenix gets the kill on his easy here. They've got the Rolling Thunder. Zeal trying to run. Emily Grace onto a couple of these heroes as it's on both Phoenix and the man himself, Ara. Smoke, they have nobody waiting on the high ground or close enough to the steps where they're going to catch this smoke coming their way. And there's the blink in with the swashbuckle. And right now they've got the Heavenly Grace, so Tiny's going to survive a little bit longer as the Rolling Thunder comes out of the Omni Knight. Eventually, the Unstable Concoction lands on a Phoenix. He's still not an easy target to kill. He'll eventually go down, though. And it's Shiro who gets credit for that kill. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, top lane C. They've got the Rod of Atos that was just picked up on the Skywrath Mage, so they're able to get the kill on to Echo, but here comes a kill on Ahara. Yeah. Sharpshooter damage. A lot of it. KB. Concussive shot, Rod of Atos and a Mystic Flare laid down, doing some damage out onto the Bat Rider. They want to chase, but they'll find the Omni Knight, they'll get the Sharpshooter off, they'll look for the damage and take out Hara while the rest of the team runs. Hey, it's a smoke, bro. They're going. Ooh, unstable concoction, Dome, Tombstone. And they're going to try and take out this Tombstone, but he's got the Soul Rip. They'll have the Concussive Shot. They'll toss him up into the air. They're going to try and get the kill here onto the Medusa. They will leave laid down a Mystic Flare already, and Hara ends up dead. 
Again, here comes the Chrono. The the chrono. Can he get the Aegis? Can he pick it off? Yes, he can. They don't get the kill on a Roche, but they end up snapping, snatching the Aegis. They've got the lasso used now. That's due <laughs> onto the very tanky Undying. And they will get that kill on a Shiro. They'll take it the Medusa. They'll look over now at this Bangalier. Zeal on the run. Zeal trying to get out of this one with the Swashbucklers. They've killed off ZZQ. And it will be another kill here for Shenzhen. They just eliminate Ehome in the... But now the question becomes, was taking that perseverance not the move anymore? And Chrono, oh, he catches oh, he her. He got him. He got him. No on the edge with that Chrono, but they just are unable to catch up to Shiro afterwards. I don't even know if they know. It's easy to get spooked the way they uh, have been. Bat goes in. So yeah, going in on this one and. Grabbing uh, uh, again the tiny, but it just feels like he is so strong. They do get that ult out. Stone gaze. Eventually, the duration is going to end. I feel like they're just going to be able to walk in with a chrono, and that's exactly what they grow. did. They got the Mystic Flare down onto the Shiro Medusa, but the bushwhack on the two behind them, locking up these heroes. They get the kill on a hard They're still try and get the Medusa. They finish off Phoenix. The damage it's just not there yet, but finally they'll take out Shiro. They take another Medusa. Down goes YP, so they'll lose the Skywrath. But Kaiko, he's going out of control, and so is Dome. Echoes gone. Zero falls. Three heroes dead on the side of Ehome. Is they're going to look for ZZQ? Time walk forward, right clicks in, ZZQ's gone, and the only one who can survive is the hoodwink in the trees of planet. Dude, the Undying had 6.5 HP. Play it as precariously, in my opinion. Look at this, ZZQ. ZZQ's kind of forward. Mystic Flare is off the mark. Shiro standing his ground. They get the kill to ZZQ, but Hara again dead quickly. The lasso's out. Time walk in, time walk out. Kaiko not committing. They're going to let Phoenix fall. They're going to let him buy back, and eventually they should be able to drop down the Chrono if they need it. They got the stun. They have the sharpshooter. Time walk in, time walk back. And now the Chrono, but a four staff. Kaiko trying to focus his attention on the Zeal. They get the kill to Echo as well. They'll take out two. They'll look after this Medusa and get another. Four dead again on the side of Ehome. They cannot catch up to the Hoodwink again. But Pure but he needs to be ready for movement here. Oh, Undying's ready? in, overwhelming blink. They're gonna go with the BKB being popped by Shiro. They immediately evacuate on this one, but again, they're going after the Undying. Undying is very tanky. Kaiko from behind, Rod of Atos is there. There's no BKB. The Chrono gets dropped. Missed the player on top of the Medusa. They have the silence with the Ancient Seal. Is he dead? Tiny's ready to go. He's dead. They'll get the kill on the Shiro. He'll drop the Divine Rapier, but ooh, Echo picks it up. He's got the BKB. They're going to still try to right click and bash him down. That's exactly what they do. They get the Divine Rapier into the hands of this Faceless Void. And with that, Shenzhen have eliminated Ehome from TI qualifiers. And they are making a move on to the next round. This is exactly what we had, right? Like, um, this is what we thought might happen.